Hello guys, it's Blast Wave representing Mayhem Attack Squad. As you know, uh, there's been a lot of events going on. We got the four star Gavitron. What I didn't put up last uh, event was we also got um, with one of their uh, side groups, the Elite Form. We pulled off a four star event crystal on that, getting 160k uh, points. Um, now luckily I didn't get a dupe because I finally got all those gold shards up to the top and sure enough I got a dupe. I only had like four freaking gold or four uh, four stars but it had to be a damn copy. Uh, I managed to get two copies and one was Shockwave. I got two of those uh, and I don't know how I can get bad luck but at least I got what I got and I can't complain about that. So without further ado let me show you what we got here. So my reward for that was actually something I was happy with. There's a lot of uh, bad, you know, four stars. Not really bad, but just ones that I won't really enjoy having. Uh, Shrapnel. And Shrapnel is one of the campaign guys you can get, the two star. He, I have a three star one, and now I have a four star. And he is deadly. He has some great stats. I know I'm saying he a lot, but uh, as you can see, the EMP bomb, it's got a good... Uh, Good range. It's not huge, but it does have a pretty decent range. You can knock out about three or four or more targets if they're all huddled together. It doesn't do a ton of damage to them, but if you can just knock out those for a short period of time, and a lot of people like to crowd their guns, he can just uh, clear them out. Plus, when he's also hitting them, he's also disabling them, and he can also even dodge uh, cannons and mortars. So he's flipping everywhere, avoiding damage. Excellent choice. His damage isn't bad, as you can see. He's only level 36 right now. He's got 107.6 DPS. He's rocking 2,720 health. He's fast. you got to be careful deploying him because he'll sometimes outrun your other guys and get in the fight a little bit sooner. But I'm going to show you a quick battle here. Uh, throw him in the fight. Do, do, do. Let's do a little less one so you can kind of enjoy a little bit of the fight. Plus, most of my guys, I don't feel like wasting coins and getting them all up and going. So, we'll just do this. We'll flip over here and we'll th replace Megatron with Galvatron because that's the way it should be. He's already in there, so we don't have to replace that. Who do I want to put in there? We'll throw in. Um, I would just keep Megatron, I guess. So Galvatron's in there. Oh, I want Shrapnel. That's what I wanted. I guess I'm getting old. Forgetting what I'm doing here. So skip. There we go. So here we go. That last event was so taxied on me that it's hard to even do any battles at this time. But luckily, I was able to get at least four or five hours sleep. So I could put up a few more videos here and do a few more battles. So we'll throw them out here. As you can see, they grouped up a lot of their guns. Really easy to take out. Mixmaster is really good. I wish I had a four-star of Mixmaster because he can just devastate stuff. So clear out these mortars so they don't devastate us. And as you can see the cannons, I hit his ability, I throw it out there, and it's going to disable both those guns for 7 seconds where it's at right now. Actually, three guns are just disabled plus one of the bots. So for fun, we'll fire you know, Gavitron's ability and we'll wait for that out because it's really not a hard fight right now. So as you can see, as he's hitting them, he's actually got the lightning bolt over he's disabling them so they can't even fire back. Just absolutely incredible. Not uh, as good as a gunner that, you know, fires over walls, but he has his place. So that's Shrapnel. His uh, uses are, ex there's quite a few uses for him. I have him on my A team. If there's any questions about him or how else you want to run, how you'd run them, how you'd use them, anything like that. Plus, if you're looking to get into a strong uh, guild, mass is constantly forming little sub-squads 
And uh, they, as you get better, you can kind of go up the chains and move up. I've moved up a couple times myself, and during events, again, they just do switch up. People who want to put a little more effort into it, they pull in. People that don't want to put effort in, they can just move down temporarily. Obviously, their big uh, team has all the heavy hitters. I'm not quite there yet. As you can see, my HQ, I'm only tw uh, 12. So it's going to take a little bit to get there. I am growing fast, and uh, I do appreciate all their help. It's a great group of guys. They're all hardworking, and um, hope you enjoy the videos and more to come.